Two teams with identical records face each other here today as we have the Chiba Jets battling the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Good afternoon and welcome to the Funabashi Arena, the home of the Chiba Jets as they host Hiroshima here. Both these squads on winning streaks. When you talk about Chiba, they're on a four-game winning streak. For Hiroshima, they're on a five-game winning streak. After the two-week break, B-League action is back. After that FIBA window, the penultimate FIBA window, there will be still one more in February. But before that, everything is focused once again on B-League action. Thanks for joining us. Anthony Sutai here with the call. And we're going to break down this matchup for you right before the actual tip-off. As we take a look at the team standings there, as we mentioned, Chiba at number one at 7-2. and two. And on the other side, you can also see Hiroshima in their conference also lording it over at seven and two so both these squads want to be able to continue you know continue their winning streaks as we can see the last win of the chiba jets were against otsunomiya brex that was an 87 to 58 route On the other side of the coin, Hiroshima coming off an 80 to 73 victory over the Ryukyu Golden Kings. As we now take a look at the Chiba Jets, and that is their entire lineup. They're led in points by 17 points from Vic Law. They also have Christopher Smith, who is averaging 15 points as well, and John Mooney also at 14. So it's a three prong attack scoring wise in terms of their rebounding. John Mooney leads it with 13. Vic Law with seven, and Gavin Edwards, their naturalized player, with four. On the other side, when we take a look at the lineup here of the Hiroshima Dragonflies, they're led by 18 points from Dwayne Evans. Nick Mayo's got 17 and 16 points for Kenny Blackshear. Rebounding-wise, Kenny Blackshear is number one at eight. 7.9, just about eight also for Dwayne Evans, and Nick Mayo has got six. So the import's really doing it all as we take a look at this head-to-head -head matchup here on the left side. That is John Mooney. You can see his averages. On the right side, that is Dwayne Evans. Stacking up, Dwayne Evans has a little bit more scoring sock by four. Rebounding though, much better rebounder is Mooney. But of course, those are the numbers from the previous matchups. And that's going to be a, something to look out for as we see here in action. Dwayne Evans, he loves to slash to the basket. He can also step back for that three, like so. So we're going to see both these imports. And watch Evans, likes to take it coast to coast. So you've got to come back down, taking it over the defense there. And then saying, I'm stronger than everybody. These two might be matched up against each other head to head, but not necessarily the entire ball game. These two squads have actually faced each other 11 times previously here in the B League. And Chiba has won 10 out of those 11. So the Jets want to continue their mastery over this squad of Hiroshima, who is visiting them here today. And now let's have the introduction of both the squads here at the Funabashi Arena. That's a great light show just to start things off. Everybody's been hungry for B-League action after taking that two-week break. And the action continues right here, right now, this Saturday afternoon.
How can you not love this fanfare? Just ushering in these two squads. Look at the starting lineups that both these teams have forward. A little tweak as the Chiba Jets will not be starting with Yuki Togashi, their star. On the other side, Hiroshima, a little tweak as well. Not starting out Isaiah Murphy, who's usually there in the first five. Today, there's going to be Rio Sadohara taking that spot. The youngster, 22 years old. We'll see how that works for the respective squads and the respective coaches. John Patrick for the Chiba Jets and Kyle Milling for Hiroshima. They can really put on a show here at the Funabashi Arena. But at the end of the day, they'd want to make their basketball do the talking as they want their Chiba Jets to pick up win number eight and five in this streak. So two teams on a hot streak here in the B-League face each other. One streak's got to end. The other will continue. Will it be Chiba? Will it be Hiroshima? We'll find out in a bit. Face of this franchise, Yuki Togashi, as we mentioned, will not be starting. And that's going to get the pump, the crowd pumped up, and that's also going to pump up the players. And here we go with the starters as we turn it over to our Coliseum announcer. And there you have the starters here for Coach John Patrick, starting out with Vic Law, Sota Okura, who gets the nod here today. Takuma Saito, also in the starting lineup together with Shutahara and John Mooney. They do things differently here at Chiba. And now they're going to introduce the visiting squad. Starting out with number zero, Ryo Terashima, Naoto Chuji. Number three, then they'll have Kenny Blackshear, number eight. Number 13, Dwayne Evans, and the gentleman we talked about, Rio Sadohara. That's him on your screens. Usually, you introduce the visitors first, and there is Coach Kyle Milling. But the Chiba Jets want to do it the other way around. All the fanfare first for their squad. As we take a look at the officials here for today, our three referees, we've got referee Ono, referee Kume, and referee Nakata. So even the referees back on the floor after that two-week break. Once again, let's go to the starters for both these squads. The Jets have Law, Okura, Sato, Hara, and Muni. For the visitors, they've got Terashima. Tsuji, Blackshear, Evans, and Sadohara. So Sota Okura thrust into the starting lineup here for Yuki Togashi. Interesting strategy because most of the time they've got Togashi starting. Let's see how that turns out for their squad. 
No exact report on the status of Togashi. So maybe he might be a little bit under the weather or maybe just a little bit of a change in strategy. But he is listed. So he could play. The hometown squad, Chiba Jets, in their red uniforms. The visitors of Hiroshima in white. And now he finally got tip off after two months, actually, two weeks of waiting. We're back. B League action here on the floor. First possession to the Chiba Jets. They go inside quickly. Mooney looks for space. The flip won't go in. One and done here. And the offensive thrust of Chiba. Evans swings it to Blackshear. They can't find Evans. Eventually it gets there. Evans against Law. Couple of fakes. We'll have to kick it out. That's going to be a turnover. Blackshear saying, that was my bad. I should have been there. Ready for the pass. Nice look there at Kyle Milling. As we mentioned at the top of the coverage, both these squads at seven wins and two losses each. Mooney to the wing to Law. They're still on the outside. Shot clock's at one. They don't realize it. What were they thinking? That's going to be turnover number one here for the Chiba Jets. That was too much passing. Sadohara gets it inside to Terashima. End-to-end -end pressure here. They release the pressure by getting it to Evans. And then eventually back to Terashima. Terashima inside. And that's going to be the first basket here. Two to nothing for the visiting squad, Hiroshima. Let's see if this time they make an attempt. Up high. Law is going to take that jumper. It'll come short. That should stay here in this end. Ooh, they say it's going the other way. Watch his nice incursion. Turning the corner and banging it through. Karashima once again bringing it up. Against that full court pressure from Okura. Evans will hold on to it this time. Attack Mooney. This is what we were looking for. That head to head matchup, and Evans comes out on top. It is now four to nothing for Hiroshima. Oh, nice pick. Nice save, getting down and dirty. And they're off and running, Terashima. Inside to Blackshear, and Blackshear will be fouled. There was a quick double there, but it wasn't enough. But you can see the defender doing the right thing there. Pressing up when he saw that pick against the man with the basketball. That's the way you're taught how to do it. A timeout will be called. Very early in this match. And it's a 4 to nothing lead here by the visiting squad.
Welcome back to the Funabashi Arena here. Just two minutes in and an early timeout call there by Coach John Patrick. You'll have to like that timeout because it seemed like his team was just not in sync to start out this match. You want to be able to nip it in the bud as early as possible as Blackshear makes that first free throw. It increases the lead here for Hiroshima. It's now 5 to nothing. So Chiba still to get on the board. Blackshear a very good free throw shooter. Makes both. It's now 6 to nothing. Let's see if they're much better here on this offensive thrust. Open three. Yes! That was a very good timeout as Sato drains that three. Good ball movement. They got it up the floor quickly and found the open man. As they say, sometimes it's the first basket that's the hardest. And the last one, of course, the one that you really need at the end of the ball game. On the outside, Black Shear. Inside, the floater a little bit too strong. Offensive rebound, Evans. Still too wide a little bit that time. And here comes Chiba. Okura to the wing. Another open three. That one misses everything, though. You can see Hiroshima trying to push it forward. Black Shear gets it off to Evans. And no offensive foul is going to be called there. Back up to a five-point advantage by Hiroshima early here in the first quarter. Mooney to the wing. Hara will bring it out. Get it back. Put up a three. That's off to the right a bit. Evans with another rebound. He's doing it at both ends. Trying to take it coast to coast. Extra pass. Open three. Bang. Naoto Chuji is a dead shot. You give him that much time, you're going to pay. And it's now an eight point advantage at 11 3. Approaching the six minute mark. Very good start for Hiroshima. Law will come up short. Evans plucks it out of the air and here he comes. Sadohara. That rims out. That's a good setup though. A little bit out of sync is the offense here of the boys in red. Let's see what Chiba can do here. They go inside. Mooney. His shot a little bit too strong. That's a sorry miss for him from point blank range, but they will retain possession. And here comes the star, Yuki Tokashi. So I guess Coach John Patrick just wanted to give Hiroshima a different look and it didn't work for his squad. So in comes their star, Yuki. Takuma Sato will be replaced. You can see there Coach John Patrick nodding, saying, well, it was a gamble, didn't work. They send in Gavin Edwards as well. Edwards for three. Will come up short. Looks like he babied that shot. That was purely a fishing expedition and... That's going to work there for Tsuji. The defense was just too close. And Shuta will be called for that personal. It's now going to be the second personal foul. Yes. As he gets lifted. Just some last minute instructions there. From Coach John Patrick before he allows Shutahara to enjoy his break. But a chance once again here for Hiroshima to increase their lead even further. First free throw goes down. Second free throw coming up here for Naoto Tsuji. A little bit too strong on that one. But it's a nine point advantage here by the visiting squad. 
Togashi. Maybe not really a good decision to be able to take that three this early. Couple of jabs, step, fakes. And Edwards was waiting for that shot. And he got called for a three second violation. Now it's Togashi applying pressure in the backcourt. Ayoki's coming in for the first time in place of Ryo Terashima. Open three. That's going to be short. And we're going the other way. Evans doesn't like it. Five minutes gone here in the opening period. Law puts it down. Extra pass to the wing. Now they're going to reset. Edwards out to Togashi. Sato waking in the wings. Not getting that pass. Togashi will launch. But before that, there was a little nudge against Gavin Edwards there. That's going to be a push called on Isaiah Murphy. Here it was, jostling for position inside. Edwards up against Evans there. They rifle a pass on the outside. Here comes Evans once again. He has really done his job blocking those rebounds and scoring. That's going to be the first personal foul on Togashi and that's going to be team foul number three on Chiba. He's asking for a shot. I don't think so. Good call there by the referees. Just a sideline inbound. Chuji there with the inbound. Finally triggers it in. Ayoki. Nick Mayo has checked in. Nick Mayo is a bruiser inside. Shot clock is down to five. Ayoki puts up that three. Will miss everything. I say Murphy tries to track it down, but since it didn't hit the rim, that's a shot clock violation. Only three points scored here by Chiba. And we're six minutes in. Coming in for the first time is Seiya Funyu. He's actually listed as a small four, but he likes playing point guard. And he's a tall one at six foot three. Nothing still from the outside here from the hometown Jets. And here's Funyu, as we talked about, bringing it down for his squad. Evans has not yet been lifted here by coach Kyle Milling. Murphy gives it up. Ayoki using the switch. Now with Mayo. Mayo will attack inside. Forces up with the left hand. That was a wild shot. And here's Togashi. He'll be stopped in his tracks by Ayoki. That is a take foul there. Just to stop the action. First personal foul there on Ayoki. And only the second on Hiroshima. As we approach the three minute mark. Chiba just can't buy a basket early here. That's very surprising because they're a very potent offensive unit. Edwards can find Togashi. He'll trigger in the offense himself. Almost losing it. That was Christopher Smith coming in for the first time. Togashi will have to attack here. Step back three. That's offline. The tip is going to stay here as Smith launches and misfires. Another rebound here for Evans. Inside. That's another wild pass. Well, there was some contact, but again, it looked like a kamikaze drive that time from Mayo. And that's why the referees are not going to bail him out with the call. Evans with good numbers here. He's got four points and already five rebounds. Togashi. Can't find space against Terashima who just checked back in. 
The pass clearly too high. There was some contact. Smith felt it on his back, but there was just no way he could pick up that pass. Another turnover. You get the turnover numbers here. Already four for Chiba, just two for Hiroshima. That's gonna be a backing violation. That did come off Terashima. Shutahara will be sent right back in. That was only about a minute and a half on the bench. Edwards back to Shuta. Now they've got Yuki playing the two as a shooting guard. But Shutahara's gonna get his pocket pick there. Quick hands from Isaiah. Terashima brings it out once again. Up against Smith. He'll attack against the import and score! It is now 14 to 3. This 11 point advantage is the biggest in the ballgame. That's going to be another miss. Rebound there from Blackshear. Inside Murphy. That is going to stay down. Now a 13 point advantage at 16 to 3. Another shot there by Chiba short. And the boys in white are running once again, looking for an early basket. Trying to run their early offense. Now we're gonna set things up. As we approach the minute mark from the outside, that's too far. And Terashima is asking there for a heat check. Missed everything. see both coaches barking out instructions to their respective squads exactly a minute remaining Sota Okura will be sent back in he was a starter here today Law as well only with three points here and the quarters coming to an end Law trying to create something Brings it back out. Shot clock. Down to five. Mooney realizes it. And gets that basket to drop. Only five points scored here by the Chiba Jets. That's Mooney's first basket. Difference of about seven seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. Jets have fouls to give. And that's not the way you want to give it though. Terashima has been on target except for that wayward three. Scores again there. Gets fouled there by Shutahara. And so one more free throw coming here. Terashima looks winded, but that's going to be the second personal Shutahara and he'll have to be replaced. Two kick fouls. That last foul from Chiba will put them in the penalty. There is 16 seconds remaining though. So Hiroshima now on the other side. Defensively as... Hiroshima's gonna miss that free throw. Hiroshima's got two fouls to give if they want to use it. Game clock. Down a six. They gotta make their move now. Law from the outside will miss fire. And a very low scoring first period, especially for the Chiba Jets. 10 minutes done here at the Funabashi Arena. And it's a 13 point lead enjoyed by Hiroshima.
Welcome back to the Funabashi Arena as we begin B-League action this Saturday afternoon after a two-week break for the FIBA International window. And it's now a battle between Hiroshima and Chiba that you're witnessing. That's going to stay here on this side. Terashima thought he lost it once again off that frenzied defense being shown there by Okura. 12 seconds still remaining on the shot clock. More than enough time. Mayo with the inbound. Funyu. And they're going to trigger it back. Terashima. Couple of fakes. We'll have to give it up. Here's Sadohara. That was halfway down. Pretty good shot. Let's see what offense... Chiba can run here. John Patrick was weighing his options in between quarters. They try to go inside to Law. He gets fouled. Sadohara playing real tough defense on him. There's that foul from Sadohara. Sadohara standing six foot four against Big Low, six foot seven. Mooney's gonna lose it. Another turnover here for the Chiba Jets. They have really struggled offensively here. Extra pass. Funyu. Blackshear to the wing. Sadohara for three. Yes! That's going to rattle through. And it's now 21 to 5. What has happened here? To the offense of Chiba. So defensively, they're doing quite well. That three was challenged, and there, finally, a three is gonna drop there for Okura. They badly need points. Blackshear will find Terashima. And now, they're calling off the dogs. No high pressure here defensively for Chiba. Blackshear got hit to the ground. A little bit of a late reaction. Watch this here. Boom. He tries to fall back. can get his footing. And eventually, Law will pick up foul number one. That's also going to be team foul number one for Chiba here in the second period. Coming back in is Takuma Sato. That's for the boys in red. That's going to be an offensive foul there. That might be on Blackshear. As Dwayne Evans comes back in. That was definitely a moving pick. First personal there on Kenny. Not seen that much of Yuki Togashi yet here today. He came in in relief, played about two and a half minutes, and a foul is going to be called there in Seiya Funyu. His first. That's now going to be the third team foul already for Hiroshima, and only two minutes gone. One more, they'll be in the penalty. Let's see if Chiba can force the action inside. Got to get some easy baskets from the free throw line. That's a nice pass. Mooney inside for two. Blackshear was right there behind him. He had to squeeze it through those outstretched arms. Evans asking for a pick. Gets it. Gets the switch he wants. But now foul will be called. This time on Mooney. Here's that last play. Blackshear close to getting the block. First personal foul will be called there on Mooney. That's going to be team foul number two. Fumio Nishimura is in the ball game here for the Chiba Jets. He's one 
Hard nosed defender to try to get it inside. Nice tip. Here's Fumio. And he will lose possession. He apologizes. His eyes got so wide when he saw a two and one break. But it's going to be another turnover here for the Chiba Jets. That's going to be turnover number seven. Five turnovers so far here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Hiroshima. That's a lot of movement here by the boys in white. And eventually it ends with Evans. Evans forces it up and through. Their offense is humming. Talking about the Dragonflies. Fumio from the outside will miss. Law. Offensive rebound, but we are going to say he got fouled before he put that up and through. So that's going to be foul number four here on Hiroshima's squad in the second. Trying to sneak in there was Terashima. We had a very good flow to the first period, even though it is a low-scoring one. But right now, things might grind to a halt as Hiroshima gets in the penalty at the 6.49 mark. And there's going to be a foul on Blackshear. And that's going to mean free throws. That might be a second if I'm not mistaken. It is... That's why he was frustrated because he's going to head to the line as Chiba heads to the line. He's going to head to the bench. Badly needed points from the free throw line and they're not going to get it. That is actually the first trip to the line here for the Chiba Jets. Okura is going to miss on that first. Second will drop. On the other side, Hiroshima has gone to the line five times, making three for 60%. Here's Evans once again. This time he'll pull it out. Was just looking for a running start. Finds Mayo. Mayo, a couple of moves. It's going to be overshot. And that's going to stay here. Well, as far as Okura was concerned, he didn't want any easy shot. No, they're going to say, we're going to the other side. That was tipped from the back. A good strategy there from Okura. Law. Not really found his target today. Almost lost it. Hiroshima's got to be very careful when they swipe at that ball. They're in the penalty. Shot clock at four. Hurried three. No. Mooney with the offensive rebound. They got a brand new 14 here. Mooney trying to barrel his way in. Law from the outside. Yes. Finally, Law hits. And now a timeout will be called here by Hiroshima. Their lead has now been cut down. To just nine.
Isaiah Murphy has been sent back into the ball game here for Coach Kyle Milling and the Hiroshima Dragonflies. So more athleticism there on the floor. Inside Evans, that's too easy. He just got inside the paint and we just witnessed Matador defense there. Leads back up to 11. Just about five and a half minutes remaining here in the first half and a foul is going to be called that might be on Mayo it is on Nick and that's going to mean free throws once again even if that was not in the act of shooting well that was in the act of shooting but even if it wasn't that would have been two free throws because still already in the penalty are the dragonflies Gavin Edwards will be sent back in same with Yuki Togashi. Let's see what Togashi and that gentleman there, Edwards, can contribute to their squad as they continue to trail. They've trailed this entire ball game. Once trailing as much as 16, 21 to 5. A lot of time on the clock here before the halftime break and more of a chance for the Jets to cut into this lead before the second half. Evans though likes the flow of this match. Terashima is going to put up a three and hit. That was poor defense there from Togashi. He just watched, didn't even challenge. Lead is back up to 12. See if the Jets can get something going towards the basket once again. Law is going to settle for a jump shot. Another rebound here for Evans. Evans with rebound number five. That's a good fake. Then they go inside. Inside, outside basketball. And then Terashima will attack from the three-point area and lose it there to Mooney. To Gashi in the open court. Open three. No. Mooney there for the putback though. And with 4.24 remaining here before the halftime break, that's going to bring us to this technical timeout. Christopher Smith rejoins the action here as we welcome everybody back to the Funabashi Arena for this battle between Chiba and Hiroshima. It's a 10 point lead enjoyed by the Dragonflies, and they've got possession. At the controls once again is Dwayne Evans. Dwayne. We'll kick it out. Terashima left open for three. Back rims that one. Edwards will collect and here comes Yuki Togashi. Still to get into a rhythm. A pass. A little bit off. That pass is perfect. And inside Nick Mayo converts. 
And you can see Chiba just a little bit slow here today. At the restart of B-League action after a two-week break. That's tough for these squads, especially those players who did not play for the Japan national team. Regain their rhythm. Edwards will score there, bring the lead down to 10. A little over three minutes remaining in this one. Mayo to Terashima. Evans, that's a nice handoff. And again, Mayo thought he got fouled. Nice release pass and Smith with a slam dunk here. That's going to get the crowd on its feet. Suddenly, some life here from Chiba. And Hiroshima sensing trouble. And that's why Kyle Milling says, let's have this time out. Watch it once again. Mayo has been a little bit wild on his offense here today. And his passes. Togashi spots the streaking Smith for two. Three minutes, two seconds remaining here in the second period. Mayo will bring it down himself against Gavin Edwards. Eventually gives it up. Quick pass. Quick shot as well. And Terashima delivers. Terashima has done so well here for his squad. Smith. Puts up a three. Yes! Now starting to find their mark from the outside. That's going to cut the lead down to seven. Smith now with five points. Foul is going to be called. Terashima threw it high off the glass. Terashima's got six points, one rebound and two assists. As you see Togashi there. Togashi is going to be called for his second personal foul. Togashi has hardly played. He's, he's been on the floor for just about seven minutes. He wasn't a starter. He's contributed two rebounds and an assist though. Yarashima. Gonna miss that free throw. He's got eight points, but he looks a little bit unsure at the free throw line, which is surprising. Just a little bit more arc to that one. Split from the line will give him nine. We call for a full court press. And then they release the pressure. And a rifle, a pass there was Gavin Edwards. Actually, it was a very good pass, but Shutahara wasn't aware of it, which is crazy. 
because he was cutting towards the basket. That would have been a layup. Little over two minutes remaining. In the first half, Mayo once again. This time he'll give it up and Terashima will bring it past the timeline. Isaiah Murphy, little nudge. And that little nudge will be called an offensive foul. No free throws there though. Shutahara there was really in his grill. Not too much of a shove there, but Shutahara a little bit of an acting job there, making sure that the referee saw it. Murphy will be replaced. Final two minutes here of the first half. Kickball, they say, there from Terashima. Seeing heavier minutes today was that gentleman on your screen, Sota Okura, who was thrust into the starting lineup in place of Yuki Tugashi. Yuki Tugashi, once again, has been lifted here by coach John Patrick. He looks like he was moving okay, though. From the outside, back-to-back -back threes now here for Christopher Smith, and he's got a total of eight. It's going to cut the lead down to five. All it needs, really, is for one player to start to heat up. Good defense. Inadvertent foul there from Terashima as... Sota got hit. Watch it here. He went straight in, got the rebound, and there was the poke. Looks like he's going to be lifted here. But can he be lifted? Because he's supposed to take two free throws. Well, it looks like he's just taking a breather. We're seeing if there's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul. Well, the ball was actually that high, right beside his face. And so obviously you could see that Terashima was trying to make a stab at the ball. But the referees, again, everything above the shoulders will have to be reviewed just in case. This might just be a regular foul. The question is, can he take free throws? Talking about Sota Okura. Referees are quick. After that, look at the monitor. Ooh, they're going to say it's an unsportsmanlike foul. And again, he goes over to apologize. That's Rio Terashima. As he will now be lifted here by Coach Kyle Milling. And it might be a replacement. So Fumio is going to come in. So two free throws here. A little bit too strong. The first from Nishimura. Second counts. You can see the disappointment there on Fumio's face. He has really actually not had a long stint on the floor and that very short stint also wasn't really memorable. But that lead has been cut down now to four after being at a high of 16. And they've got possession, Fumio on the outside. Smith. Couple of moves, fades away, that'll be short. Here's Evans in the open court. This is where he thrives. Brings it back out and then attacks. Foul's gonna be called there on Gavin Edwards and that will put Chiba in the penalty as well. Not to mention the fact that Evans has two free throws coming here. Very slight contact, but still, the referees deemed it enough to blow their whistle.
Evans will score the first. He now has nine points. To go with his five rebounds and one assist. The second will drop as well. More comfortable lead here at six for Hiroshima, but it's definitely not a 16 point advantage anymore. Fumio. Fumio inside the paint. Puts it down and a big slam there by Mooney. Assist will go to Fumio. Mayo back in action. He has really not been able to flex his muscles. Eventually he's going to lose it. And a foul is going to be called. That's a poor one there on Sadohara. Two free throws once again coming up here for the visiting. After the foul and the visitors, as we see this perfect pass from Fumio. It's two more free throws here for the Jets. As they say. No lead is safe here in the B-League. Christopher Smith has been getting his points here in the second period. Smith now with nine points. Could get into double digits here. And does. And that lead's been cut down to two. Final seconds of this one. Difference of three seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. Neither team has a foul to give. Evans. Let's put his team on his back and try to get him to another score. Evans will get denied there by Mooney. Two point four. That might not be more than enough time to get off a decent shot. There's that attack. Gavin Edwards, I don't know if he's playing possum there, pretending to tie his shoelaces and then he's going to sprint down court. Or issue a pass. I was going to say he needs to get his entire foot in there first. So they say the ball is staying here in this end. So definitely more than enough time for Hiroshima to get off a basket. John Patrick wants to send another player in. They don't allow him. Four shot, good line and it's gonna drop. What a basket there from Tsuji. Extricating himself from the defense. Knocking down that three. Let's watch it once again. But this should count. Getting away from the outstretched arms of Sato. That was good defense. Just better offense. And there's confirmation. That will count. And after two periods. It's 38 for Hiroshima. 33. For Chiba.
Checking out now some of the action here from the first half. Getting the first bucket there was Rio Terashima attacking. Actually, the first period was very low scoring. Especially for Chiba. They only had five points. Which means after that basket there from Sato, they only had an inside incursion. While Dwayne Evans lorded it over inside off that pass from Blackshear. They move it around once again and Ayoki is going to knock down that three. They swing it on the outside. Sadohara rattles that one through. Well, that basket was already in the second half. The second half, meaning the second period. Scoring once again is Evans. He did so well for his squad. He had 10 points, 6 rebounds and an assist. Another nice basket there from Terashima. But still, despite these highlights, coming back, was the Chiba Jets. Evans hands it down, another wild pass. Christopher Smith's gonna get this two here. Christopher Smith led the charge in the second quarter. That's when they came back. Fumio finds Mooney for that slam. This was the last play as Aoki hits that contested three over the outstretched arms there of Sato. That's going to end scoring and he's going to dance his way all the way to the locker room. As you break down the numbers here of the first half, it's a five-point lead enjoyed by Hiroshima. Shooting 62% from two-point distance against the 50% of the Chiba Jets from three-point country shooting also much better though they had one less three but they shot four out of ten for 40 percent five out of 18 for 27 percent there for the Chiba Jets free throws just about even six out of eight for the Chiba six out of nine for Hiroshima in terms of the turnovers actually Chiba had one less turnover when they had more actually midway through the second quarter 10 and 16, those are the points in the paint. And 13 to 7, those are the bench points. Look at some more numbers. Rebounding wise, just about even. 16 for Chiba, 15 for the Dragonflies. Assists, one more also for the Chiba Jets at 9 to 8. Steals, even at 4 apiece. Here we now have the leading scorers for these two squads. Chiba Jets led by the 10 points of Smith. They also have 8 points there from Mooney and 5 from Law. On the other side, Evans has 10 points. He also has 6 rebounds. You see there Mooney in the second level with 5 rebounds. And in the assist department, you can see there Okura's got 2 and Terashima also with the same number as 2. Head-to-head -head matchup here. We showed you this during the pregame, 10 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist there for Dwayne Evans. 8 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. On the other hand, for John Mooney. These two players have guarded each other at particular times in the first two periods. Doesn't seem like Evans is going to start out the second half though. So after opening up a 16-point lead, that lead now just stands at 5. Could easily have been just 2 
if not for that last second shot put up there by Aoki. So I stand corrected. Evans will begin the second half. Law getting ready to begin second half hostilities. Third quarter has begun. And starting out once again, Isokura. He has seen majority of the minutes. Yuki Tugashi still on the bench. Evans will start out out here though. Mooney to Law. Mooney's going to miss that jumper and that's going to be a push, they say, on Blackshear. That will be foul number three on Kenny, and he's in trouble. Gavin loves to be able to really battle inside for rebounds. There was a little nudge, and the thing was, Gavin Edwards did have inside position. A little bit of a gamble going to be done here by Coach Kyle Milley, keeping Blackshear in. Law from the outside for three, overshoots. Track down there by Sadohara. Derashima will bring it down. Let's see if they can try to go to Blackshear before he's sent to the bench. Trying to get inside to the wing. Terashima for three. Yes! And that lead is back up to eight. Quickly down court. Isokura and company. Wanted to answer back. Okura, three, back rims that one. Rebound from Terashima. Coming from the back, almost a steal that time from Okura. Evans looks over at him and says, you sneaky fellow. That's a great setup. They always have somebody waiting at the corners. There's Ayoki. Quick jumper, and it's another basket here. Ayoki just checked in and launched. Picking up where he left off to end the first half. It's back up to an 11 point lead, but getting away there is Mooney. Mooney now in double digits. Two players in double digits. Smith and Mooney for the Chiba Jets, though they are trailing by nine. Evans will bring it back out. Evans still. Evans hands it down. Sadohara's gonna miss. They're gonna track that down though. A little bit too strong. Law, sidestepping move, is gonna miss. Another turnover. It's gonna be turnover number 10 here for the Chiba Jets. Sadohara asking for it inside that paint. Eventually he's gonna get it. Feels he's got the mismatch here, standing six for four, but he's gonna lose it. Foul will be called there on Ayoki. Just to stop the progress here of Okura. Evans there giving him some words of advice, telling him when to spin, when to turn. He's got to pick up his dribble when he makes that turn or else a smaller man's going to swipe at it and steal it. Sadohara will learn. He's only 22 years old and already playing professional basketball. Almost a steal there from Terashima. Open three, Gavin Edwards. Short, he's 0 for 2 from three-point distance. Here's Evans, trying to push the pace, force the issue, and he's gonna get knocked to the floor there by Gavin Edwards. He's in pain. Looks like he just got the win knocked out of him. Edwards is saying, I was just standing there. He ran right into Evans. Evans. 
But they're going to say the foul's on Mooney. Evans now will head to the line. He tried to add to his tally. Of 10 points, 7 rebounds and 2 assists. Here comes Yuki Togashi. Not even 3 minutes into the second half and they need him to deliver. They need him to create. And they need him to score as well. Evans will get that second free throw. And the lead is back up to double digits at 10. Evans is going to get fouled. That's on Blackshear. That's going to be number four. They're going to give it to Ayoki. Tugashi. To Shutahara. And it eventually ends up with Law. Gavin Edwards trying to get it. Set that pick. But Law is going to force the issue. And a foul is going to be called there. On Evans. Nice spin there. Evans didn't even leave his feet. But we'll pick up that personal. That'll be number three. Law makes the first. Too strong in the second one. Tracked down there by Blackshear. Look at this. Hiroshima already in the penalty. With 6.45 still to be played. Nice slam there from Blackshear. He's managing those fouls and still scoring. He only has four points though. Getting inside is Yuki Togashi. Finally, that's the Togashi we know. Bucket there for the 29 year old Terashima will bring it back out and then find Evans inside. Evans eventually that'll drop. But he's gonna pick up an offensive rebound to boot there, aside from two points. Let's see, if they go right back to Tugashi, they go to law first. Active hands on the outside, that's gonna be a foul there. And Moon, he doesn't like it. He's got to be careful. He could be called for a T. That's going to be foul number three, and that's why he's frustrated. But there's a foul there. There was definitely contact on the head. That was clear. He was lucky he wasn't going to be teed up there by the official. Four minutes gone here in the third. And we've seen so many fouls already. Terashima gets it on the run. Almost a travel. Inside! That's a nice getaway there from Ayoki. He was moving well without the ball. That was Naoto Chuji. Inside the paint, Shutahara finds Smith. Smith, though, is going to baby that one. Evans with another rebound. Evans now with rebound number nine there. Trying to post a double-double. Nice swing, extra pass. Terashima for three. Rattles out. And here comes Togashi once again. Looking to try to do something positive. Puts up that layup, he'll miss. But it's put through there from Sato. Sato with 5 points, cutting the lead down to 11. Evans once again bringing it back up. He's expending so much energy bringing down that basketball. Eventually gets it off to Chuji. Smith. That's a little bit of a wild drive there coming from Isaiah. 
Smith left wide open, took all day, and he'll miss. He shot it out of rhythm. Still an 11 point advantage enjoyed by the visiting squad. They've led from start to finish. At least this being the finish. So far, basket and one opportunity. That's going to be number four on Mooney. And he will have to be lifted now. That's for sure. He got away. Mooney should just let him have it. There was clearly contact. Can't complain about that. You just hold your ground. Dwayne Evans at the free throw line now. Gavin Edwards will check in as Mooney. There, it's official. Four personal fouls. We're not going to see him until maybe midway of the fourth quarter. So now it's going to be Smith and Law, the imports here for Chiba. As they continue to trail by 13. Could be 14 here after this free throw from Gavin Edwards. No, from... Dwayne Evans, check that. Gavin Edwards trying to battle inside with the rebound together with Nick Mayo. Smith now bring it down. Gavin Edwards with a pick. Trying to get inside to Gavin. A slight nudge and a foul will be called on Isaiah Murphy. You like the fact that Isaiah is trying to battle at 6 foot 5. But remember, Gavin Edwards is six foot ten, and the boys in white are in the penalty. And again, taking advantage of that will be the Chiba Jets. That's how they were able to make their comeback in the second period. But Gavin Edwards is going to miss that free throw. It's been a struggle here for Gavin. Only with two points, one rebound, and one assist. He's going to get the lucky bounce on that second free throw. He's got three markers. Hiroshima again. He has run a really good fluid offense here. Staying in front there was Chuji. That's going to stay here with the dragonflies. Ayoki with the inbound here gets it to Mayo 8 on the shot clock Mayo trying to make his move crossover and he'll slam it through Nick Mayo has not scored that much only his 4th point there but still you can see the offense is really flowing back up to a 15 point lead from the outside it's not going to work and here's Evans pushing the action once again almost got his pocket picked Release pass. And now they'll set things up. No need to rush, says Coach Kyle Milling. We're up by 15. Mayo for three. Bang! And that's going to be the biggest lead in the ball game now at 18. At 59 to 41. Mayo with seven points. And a timeout will have to be called by Chiba.
Welcome back to the Funabashi Arena where the crowd here of the Chiba Jets have been mostly quiet. The squad has been playing catch up the entire afternoon. Togashi left open for that three. Actually from that two from the free throw line. Let's see if that gets him started. Togashi only with his second basket. He's got four points, two rebounds and an assist. But he has been very quiet for the face of this franchise. Funyu. Then hand it down. There was a little nudge. And still getting the basket though is Blackshear. Blackshear has really held on to those three personals. Ayoki will pick up a foul there and that is why Coach Kyle Melling is furious on the sidelines. A while ago there was a real big strong bump up against Blackshear. Togashi doing the right thing. He knows that the opponents are in the penalty. Forced the contact there against Ayoki. He's on the line for two shots. He'll make the first. Oh, we're gonna have checking in for the first time. Gaku Arau. Some pressure in the backcourt. The court has been doing that most of the game. Blackshear now. Wants to take on the newcomer. And he's going to kiss it off the glass. Blackshear has come alive here in the third. He's got a total of eight points. Smith from three. Short. Funyu with the rebound. Back up to an 18-point advantage. And Hiroshima looking for more. Blackshear. Nice steal there. Being very active in the passing lanes. No look pass. And it's going to be another turnover. Terashima will hand it down. And that's going to be a foul. Clear foul there. On Gaku. Gaku Arawo. And that foul is going to put them in the penalty. With a minute 29 remaining. Blackshear sends it back out. They've got a lot of time on their shot clock and they want to use some of it. Blackshear finds Murphy. Murphy overshoots. Open three. They need to make this one. It rattles out. Nice tip there from Isaiah. Over Smith who had the inside track. Those are the shots Okura needs to make. Under a minute remaining here in the third period. Jumper from Terashima is going to work. And that is now a 21-point edge at 66 to 45. Another very poor quarter. Or Chiba. Getting away is Law slams that through. Now having the last shot here. Eight points in the contest here for Vic. And Terashima says, we're going to walk this up and use all clock. It's a 19 point advantage. If you can see they want more Mayo from the outside. Extra pass. Blackshear will miss. But they ran out of the clock. And as we head into the fourth and final period, a solid showing here by the visitors as Hiroshima leads 66 to 47.
Welcome back to the Funabashi Arena as we bring you the fourth and final period here of this battle between the Chiba Jets and the Hiroshima Dragonflies. That's good defense. Punyu gets rejected. Shot clock's down to six. Mayo, they go inside. Blackshear! He'll be fouled there by Smith. Blackshear has really been able to hold on to those three personals. He's played pretty decent defense on one end, but he's scoring a lot here on the other, especially in the third period. First personal foul going to be called there on Smith. Smith stands six foot four. Blackshear on the line is six foot ten. Blackshear now with nine points to go with four rebounds and two assists. And that lead is back up to 20. For Chiba, they need to be able to slowly whittle down this lead. Entering the final six minutes, it's got to be down to at least 10. Release pass in the open court. Law up and under move and scoring there is Gaku. Gaku Arau. Tarashima bring it down and lays it through. That's just too easy. Back up to a 21-point lead here. And 17 points for the starting point guard, Rio Terashima. Smith. Floater's not going to work. He's not going to get it back. Here's Nick Mayo. Says we don't need to rush. Tell that to the rest of the troops. Looks like they're rushing. Now they'll set things up. Terashima. Gets it swiped. They had to force that one up. Shot clock was winding down. Here is Tugashi. Turning on the Jets. For Chiba. Smith. Shaking, baking. To the wing. Law for three. That's short. Funyu with the rebound. They can't score a basket. Talking about Chiba, and they're down by 21. That's a recipe for disaster. Nice swipe from the back, but in the end, Blackshear to the wing. Three on the way, and it's going to drop there for Asayama. Asayama has hardly played, but the veteran sent in here for some quality minutes. Knocks down that three. They're going to say it's a long two. Let's check it for confirmation. Feet beyond the arc. And it is a three. John Mooney will be sent back in despite his four personal fouls. Well, it's now or never here for Chiba as they trail by 24. Two minutes into the fourth. The only problem for Hiroshima was they almost always got into the penalty. 
very early. That happened in the second and third quarters. From the outside, another short three. Looking at the three-point numbers, Chiba shooting just five out of 26 for 19%. On the other side, nine out of 20. For Hiroshima, for a very healthy 45%. Mayo will bring it down, use up some clock as he finds Chuji. Back to Mayo, to the wing, the veteran Asayama. Now they gotta make their move, stopping, popping, and hitting there is Ayoki. Look at this. Only one reinforcement here. As Chiba will score, but they can't trade baskets, not at this stage. They need stops. Nice attack there from Okura. Little shove. Blackshear thought it was going to be an offensive foul. But looking to complete the three-point play here. He's Sota Okura. And he does. Mayo once again to Blackshear. They get Mayo down in the low block and he, he's tough to handle there, but that's very good defense and good hands there from Vic Law. Still a 23-point disadvantage though for Chiba. We mentioned a while ago their target should be when you enter the last six minutes that leads down to 10 to give you some sort of a chance. <laughs> Asayama there. Got hit where it hurts the most. Oof, right there. Quickly apologizing is Sato. No ill intentions. He just wants to try to save the ball. Asayama says, I'm good to go. Shutahara. Starter here today, but has really not contributed the way that coach John Patrick would have wanted him to. Almost a travel. They go inside. Mooney will be fouled there by Nick Mayo. At the one second mark of the shot clock. So two free throws coming up here for John. Badly needed free throws, but time is running out here on the home squad. Jets. Look at the quarter scoring. Chiba only scored five points in the first quarter. And they only scored 14 points in the third quarter while allowing 28 points in the third to Hiroshima. That's why this game was blown wide open. Shiba actually outscored Hiroshima 28 to 20 in the second period. Let's see if they can do it here in the fourth. And they're gonna need to outscore them by a lot. Mayo dribbled it off his foot a couple of times. But safely gets it past the timeline. Here's Ayoki. To Mayo. Extra pass. Asayama. Check that. That was Chuji. But it's put through once again there. Mayo at the right place at the right time. He's got nine points. And the lead is back up to 23. Mooney trying to attack. And that basketball will touch the end line. Another turnover. That's going to be turnover number 13 for Chiba. Asayama still on the court. Ayoku will bring it down. Floater will work for the veteran? No, it won't. It was close though. But again, they're just trying to use at least 20 seconds of the shot clock every time they go down. And then if they make the basket, well and good. They increase their lead. If not, they're sticking to the game plan. 
trying to force the issue there. And a foul will be called on Asayama. No respect for the elders there is Sato. Sato says, I'm much, much younger, 27 years old, and I've got the foot speed. Christopher Smith will check back in. Well, Chiba needs firepower, and he can give them that. He did that in the second quarter. Sato's going to knock down that first free throw. Makes a second as well. Here they are using shot clock once again. Now to Blackshear on the outside. Now they'll make their move. Blackshear for three. Yes! Back up to a 24-point lead and you can see Hiroshima just very content to be able to say, let's just trade baskets. Halfway gone here in the fourth and final period and Chiba has not made any headway. Almost a travel. Shutahara. Shot clock. Down a six. They're going to have to put up a hurried shot here. There's that hurried shot which will miss but nobody went to get the rebound. Everybody failed to get that rebound and Soto Okura said thank you very much. 4.31 still to be played here as we get to this official timeout in the fourth. Essentially a one ball game here for the Hiroshima Shima Dragon Flyers as they're going to increase their winning streak now to six. Just need to get past this four minutes and 15 seconds. Dwayne Evans has been sent back in. I guess they wanted to increase his numbers, but already pretty decent. For his squad, getting away there is Smith. And the lead has been cut down to 20. Well, the starters essentially sent back in. Evans together there with Terashima. Terashima left open, puts up a three and hits. And the lead is back up to 23. Just leaving nothing to chance are the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Trying to answer that three. Not gonna work. Evans gets knocked down by his own teammate. 
Almost a steal. There is. Fumio. Back to Fumio. And he hits that three. Nishimura now has five points in the contest. But they needed a whole lot more of that earlier in this ball game as we enter the last three minutes. Still a 20 point lead enjoyed by the visitors. And they leave an open three. Bang! Another one. That's Kamisawa, his second three. He's got six points. Well, you gotta hand it to the fans here at the Funabashi Arena. As Mooney scores, they applaud that one and... They're still sticking around. Isaiah Murphy got shoved. That was clearly a push. Five points now in the ball game there for Isaiah Murphy. There's really just no way that Takuma could stay with him. Especially in the open court. This kid's got a lot of athleticism. Scores there and pads their lead. Sadohara's going to check back in. Sadohara was a starter. But they want the youngster Sadohara to get more burn. They want him to be able to develop as quickly as he possibly can because at six foot four, he is a load of talent. Approaching the two-minute mark. Mooney from the outside will break that three. And here's Evans. Again gonna use clock. Two-man game together with Murphy and gives it up. They swing it to the wing. Another three. Not that time, but Kamisawa found himself open once again. Final two minutes now. Fumio. Smith puts up a three and hits. Asking for a foul there. None is given. He's got 15 points. But a late charge here for Chiba is not going to get the job done. Looks like Vic Law was about to be sent back in, but Coach John Patrick says, let's live to fight another day, which is tomorrow. As these two teams face each other once again, which is customary in the B League, we face the same squad twice per weekend. Fumio, the pass fielded there, and Sadohara will pick up a foul. That's not going to count. These two individuals standing the same height, six foot four. Oh, the foul is going to be given. Yes, it's it's going to be given to Sadohara. Correct. Looked like they were going to give it to Murphy. Eighty seconds remaining here in this one, and very shortly, as we have Smith hitting another three, he now has eighteen points. We're going to have the Dragonflies picking up win number eight. I'm going to drop in the standings at 7-3 will be the Chiba Jets. As these two squads entered with identical 7-2 cards today. Hitting from three once again. And showing us he's got some range from the outside is Isaiah Murphy. It's a 20 point lead once again. Fumio puts up a hurried three. That's offline. Mooney tries to force the issue. He'll miss. He gets it right back. And eventually he'll get that to drop and a foul to boot. With 29.2 seconds remaining. Let's watch it once again. Really taking advantage there of the youngster that was Justin Baltazar. Justin Baltazar from the Philippines. Played for De La Salle University. 25 year old, standing six foot 10. That overpowered there by John Mooney. The 
Let's see if Balti Baltasar can get a rebound here off a miss from Mooney. But Mooney is going to make that. Let's see what Hiroshima opts to do here on their final possession. Some teams will just take the turnover. Difference of three seconds from the game clock and the shot clock. Sadohara will miss. Mooney and company might want to get the last shot here. Fumio puts it up and that's going to drop. That should count. That's three. That's just going to add to the final tally. In what is a resounding victory here for the visiting squad, the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Nice look there at one of the heroes, Ryo Terashima. And there is your final score, 92 to 77. And six straight victories here for the Hiroshima Dragonflies in the four-game winning streak of Chiba. Snapped. We're going to hear from the visiting squad. Well, we're going to hear from their coach first. As we take a look at the quarter scoring, the first and third quarters were big, were huge here for Hiroshima. 18 to 5 and then 28 to 14. So they made up 13 points in the first, 14 in the third. They lost the second period though. But again, it doesn't matter because in the end, after four periods, they come out on top by 15. We're going to get set up for an interview here with Coach Kyle Milling. There it is in the sidelines, as you can see. Well, the Chiba Jets thanking their fans for coming over and also to some extent, apologizing for the very poor effort. How many times has John Patrick said in the huddle, at least thrice, he said, we are playing too slow. And because of that slow play, well, they got their butts kicked. Very disappointed. Coach John Patrick there. His team was really a step slower here today. But it would be nice to hear from Coach Kyle Milling to see exactly what he says and his thoughts are about this particular match. Remember, these two squads face each other again tomorrow. A lot of heroes for the Dragonflies, but none of them finish the ball game. The final five on the floor, Ayoki, Murphy, Kamisawa, Baltazar, and Sadohara. Only Sadohara was a starter. And now here we have Coach Kyle Milling. ありがとうございます。今日振り返ってもらって、まあ、バイウィークがあって、3週間休みだったんですけど、7勝2敗と好調の中で今日のゲームってはそのように考えてらっしゃったんですか。Here you go. And uh, we try to improve our defense, but as well as our offense. And uh, tonight we played very well. まあ、その点ではどこを注意して一番やられたんですかね。そう、アテンディフェンスが
まあ、そうです本当に出だしからですねあのフルコートでちょっとプレスをして仕掛けてみようという,ふうに考えていましたしプレイヤーにもですねしっかりと出だしから強度の高いディフェンスをしていこうという,ふうには伝えてコートに送りましたやっぱり琉球戦でもそうだったんですけどやっぱりディフェンスから激しいインテンシティでやればですねこういったいいゲームになるという,ふうには選手たちにも伝えていましたので本当に最初の出だしからですね最後まで高い強度でディフェンスをできましたし最後にリバウンドもしっかりと取ることができて本当に満足な結果になりました。本当に解消ということでおめでとうございました。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとう。And we have many fans tonight, so k i t e k u r i t e ありがとう。たくさん元気もらいました。And、uh, on, on, Igashimas. And Ashta, I hope so another one. Kachi Jake. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Kyle Milling has really learned the language、ね、as he's there and very good thoughts. And he says his team really could contend for the title. They can build something from with the players that they have already and they can actually beat the big teams as long as they play defense. And they played really tough defense, especially in that first and third periods. Interesting to find out who we're going to be able to talk to because a lot of heroes, as we said, well, here's one of them Rio Terashima. Well, plain and simply put, Terashima was talking about the fact that their defense today was very good. Actually, it was exceptional if you really looked at it. They were all over the court, they were switching very well. And on offense, he said, our pick and roll was good. And he said, tomorrow they need a little bit more hard work. And that's what actually all teams need is to work hard to be able to get a victory. And so now the players are leaving the court as we take a look at the highlights here. Before we go through the numbers, again, a very good start here by today's hero, Ryo Terashima, starting the scoring. So Hiroshima got off to a 2 0 nothing lead and they never looked back. They led from wire to wire. This one three pointer there from Sato was only one of two baskets that they scored in the entire first 10 minutes. That's not going to get it done. Black Shear with a pass finds Evans. Evans did quite well, quarterbacking for his squad. Sadohara extra pass. They're going to find Tsuji, who knocks down that three. First quarter ended in favor of Hiroshima 18 to 5. And then in the second period, Sadohara continued to rock, hitting that three. But this is where the Jets made their move and they cut that lead down, in fact, to a single basket. Nice sidestepping move there. 
and Evans will score. Again, Rio Terashima. Coming off that screen there. Check that, that was Toshiki Kamisawa. And then Smith. He did so well here in the second period. Finding the open man, hitting his shots, and at the same time there, you can see, giving an assist to Gavin Edwards. Steal here. Law will give it up. And Smith, off that assist there from Yuki Togashi, slams that one through. Fumio. Hands it down and Mooney will slam that one. But it's the final play to end the half. Chuji with a big shot. Are we going to see the dance? Yes, we will. So it is 38 to 33 after the first two periods. And then here in the third, continue to go to work with a visiting squad. Breaking down the defense. They find the open man and Terashima hits another three. Evans finds another open shooter. And they really knock things down from the outside. That was Chuji there. So Ayoki hit a couple of threes. Asayama hit one. Chuji a few. Nice find. Easy slam there for Black Shear. Mayo from the outside. The big man can shoot. One of the few baskets of Yuki Togashi. He would finish with just four points. The third period ended. Still in favor of Hiroshima, 66 to 47. Then a slam there from Law. But at this particular point in stage, it's a little bit too late. Final minutes here. Law in the open court. Getting away there. Was Gaku? And then they just continue to trade baskets. Here is the veteran who we talked about a while ago, Shogo Asayama. Will hit that open three. Now Ayoki. That medium range shot has been deadly. Fumio left open. He'll get a consolation three. But in the fourth period, they were just trading baskets, and you can't do that when you're down big. I say a Murphy will hit that three. Nice extra pass there, and an assist will go to Justin Baltazar. And now let's break down the numbers here of this victory of the Dragonflies. Look at this, shooting just about the same from two-point distance, 61% as compared to 60% for Chiba. But the big difference was there from three-point distance, 50% to 25. Free throw numbers actually in favor of the Chiba Jets, shooting 16 out of 20 as compared to just 11 out of 15 here for the Dragonflies. But turnovers... Chiba actually had two less when it comes to the points in the paint, just about even. Just a plus four for the Hiroshima Dragonflies, and Chiba actually had better scoring coming off the bench. Rebounding, just plus two for Hiroshima. Assists, just plus four. So really, it just boiled down to better three-point shooting. And again, when you look at the huddles 
Of course, John Patrick of Chiba, he just kept reminding his players, we are playing too slow, playing too slow. And that really did them in here today. They were last to the ball. They weren't diving for the balls on the ground. And it eventually did them in. Let's check some individual numbers here. Points-wise, Terashima led all scorers with 20 points. Backed up there with Evans with 16 points and Blackshear had 13. On the other side, Smith would finish with 18. 17 points there for Mooney and 9 for Okura. These numbers that we're showing you, the first level are the points. The second are the rebounds. And the third are the assists. So Mooney with 10 boards, Evans with 10 for his squad. In the assist department, you have there Okura with 5. Actually, it says there 4 on the screens, but in the official tally, it says 5. And Rio Terashima has 4, the same amount that Evans has, and Blackshear. So 4 assists each. 12 assists divided equally by Terashima, Evans, and Blackshear. As we take a look at the head-to-head, -head, just about even from both these players. Evans didn't really play as much anymore in the second half as compared to the first because his team had a hefty lead and they really just coasted to victory here at the Funabashi Arena. Mooney was hounded by four personal fouls from the two-minute mark of the third period all the way to the end. Look at more numbers. Sato had seven boards. Law contributed three rebounds as well. In a winning effort, Seafunyu coming off the bench had four boards, the same amount of boards as Kenny Blackshear. So it's going to be six straight victories here for the visiting Hiroshima Dragonflies. And that's going to do it for our coverage in behalf of everybody from the B League. Anthony Sutai saying thanks for joining us, everybody. Till tomorrow, take care. Have a good night ahead. God bless.